Hi, good afternoon. I'm gonna try, this is Magali, and I'm gonna try to show you how to wire wrap an agate. Uh, this is the method from Sheila Orr, O-R-R, -R, and the file is in the, uh, the Art of Pine Needle Basket Tree. Uh, so, and I also made a copy and sent it to uh, uh, Linda, and she'll be sending that to you. And I have all my supplies here. Got my wire. I got an 18 gauge wire. I've got my needle nose pliers. And I've got my uh, wire cutters. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the wire around three times with some loops to hold the wires together at four points. And then uh, the three wires, the, the wires on the top are going to hold the uh, top of the agate. The wires in the back are going to hold the uh, uh, back of the agate in place. And the middle wire is going to hold your pine needles, your thread and your pine needles as you go. So I'm going to start with my wire and kind of uh, loosely wrapping it around my agate. I'm gonna leave a tail of about, I think I have about three inches here. And I'm gonna wrap it around just to kind of measure how much I need. And then when I me uh, have measured three loops around the agate, I'm going to cut, cut the wire. So this is my second loop. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just kind of uh, eyeballing so we know how, where to cut the wire. So I've got two loops now. And then I'm going on the third loop. Sorry, I keep forgetting, and I keep forgetting my uh, my agate up. And then I'm gonna leave like an extra, maybe 12 inches or so, of wire before I cut it. Okay. So I'm not gonna need this anymore. Okay. Now we're gonna start the wrapping. this little piece at the end here because it's a little bit twisted and it may give me some uh, problem later on and you can start any any place you want what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to hold the wire in place with this little clips and see if it works it may not work but uh, Then I'm, I'm just going around the agate three times. So I've got almost one, uh, my first loop now around the agate. I'm gonna go and make a second one. Let me put more, more clips to hold everything in place. Just gonna put some clips in certain areas and it will kind of uh, hold this uh, a little bit better than I can. one of the clips so anyway I have another one put it here and 
and then I'm gonna go on a second wrap. Yeah, that paper doesn't want to stay there. Uh, well, I'm taping something. I'm doing a video for my uh, pine needle class. So I'm gonna go on my second. I'm gonna remove my first slit, turn this corner, put the clip back in to hold the uh, wires in place, go around where I have the next. A clip, take the clip out. Let's provide that it wants to come out. And put the clip back in. And then I'm going to the next one. Put the clip back in. This corner here, take the clip out, put the clip back in, okay, and now the last, uh, last turn, I, I turn wire up. Turn my corner there. Put the clip. Send this other clip out. Put it back in. Holding my wire to the aga. Get to the next clip. Um, taking the clip out. Does it look like this one likes to stay in that corner? So anyway, I'm gonna put the third my clip there. Take this one out. the clip to hold my stuff up and then there we go so now okay I'm just gonna go back I really didn't need to make the third one the third wrap yet yeah, because the third wrap, wrap is going to have some coil to hold all three of this together okay so this is where i have my my little tail I'm gonna leave that for the very end and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna try and that's where I was holding the first clip which flew away again you're gonna do a few coils to hold all three wires together Try to make them as tight as you can. Probably four or five coil, coils should be enough. And this is probably the hardest part. And the clip come out there. And it's actually easier when the clip's on. So I'm just putting the wire around a few times. So 
don't overlap them and they don't have to be perfectly close together because we can fix that later. gonna do one more I think I've got uh, four in there so I'm gonna do another another one there and then I'm gonna continue find another place where I want to wrap so I just take this place right here where I have that other clip holding everything together and just wrap around there well, I don't know how this video will come out but I'm trying my best because I don't, uh, I'm not as privileged as Linda is. She has quite a really good setup. And I couldn't get my husband convinced to take me either. So you made those loops tight. And on the second set of loops around, why my coil around? And it's loose. And again. Okay. So actually I have like a good four loops in there. Let's see if I can straighten this little kink I have. I thought I will be able to, but I can always try a little kink here. I'm just using my needle nose pliers. Well, I was able to straighten it up a little bit. Okay, then the next, uh, the next wrap. I have uh, I didn't get to put it through the three wires so okay there we go This is, this is actually pretty tough to do that part. Got another good four loops there, as you can see them. And now for the uh, for the end, and I can just let it go now. 
you can tell we I have one, two, three sets of loops, and I'm gonna make the last one. And on the last one, what I want to do is I want to take the uh, cover the end of my uh, of the tail, the tail which was the couple of inches I left, and wire around and uh, loop around that. Three, four, and there we go. So now I have an uh, 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 wire shape in the form of the agate with four sets of loops holding the uh, wires together. And I'm just gonna cut these uh, these two uh, with my wire cutters. These two last pieces that I have here that end up here. And push it down with my needle nose pliers so that doesn't stick out. good and I'm gonna cut the other end and kind of uh, push this wire this end of the wire in with the needle nose pliers flatten it in there You just don't want any of the wires sticking out. Okay, so that's it. Now I'm gonna take my agate in here, put it as best as I can. And then I'm gonna pull wires inside on one side and the other in between the coils. That and those are that's what's gonna hold the agate. So I have one here that I can pull down. Put another one here. Okay, and the third one down. And, and the last one. Okay, so I have uh, four loops that I pulled uh, one of the wires down to hold the agate on that side. Now I'm gonna turn the agate over and I'm gonna do the same on the other side.
see if it uh, is in the needle nose pliers makes it easier to get that uh, loop down. Last one here. There we go. And now the agate is uh, is held by the uh, by the wires. I have a little corner here that just doesn't want to stay, but and then you can play with the loops, straighten them out, uh, shape them a little bit, uh, whichever way you want. And, uh, and if you feel that the agate is not uh, tight enough in there, you can always pick up some places and put a drop of, uh, of the E6000 glue to hold it in. It should stay pretty good in. And I'll probably be putting something on this one, maybe right on this little corner here that doesn't quite, quite want to stay. I'll probably just put a, a drop of glue there to hold that wire in that, in that ch sharp corner. And, uh, and that's, uh, that's basically it. And, uh, then the, the, there's a wire that stays pretty much in the middle. And that's where you're going to tie your, your thread and your needle. And just, just play with the, with the wire and play with the agate until you feel it's, uh, it's not loose and it's uh, not giving up. And uh, you can always push wires in. And I hope... I hope that helps. And this one can be really seen that well. Let me push it up a little bit. That's one side with the four loops of wire holding the agate in place. And once I stop this video, I'm just gonna play with it a little bit more. Make sure I like the way the wires are. So Again, a review, you take, uh, kind of loosely wrap your, uh, your uh, wire, and I'm using 18 gauge, three times around your uh, agate. You leave uh, about a couple of inches at the beginning, and probably about 12 inches at the end, because you're gonna use that to wrap around the three, uh, the three wires. Then you're gonna wrap twice around the agate with your wire, and on the third time, you're gonna be doing the, these uh, little coils here. And then when you get to the end, you just cut the, cut the ends off of the wires uh, so they don't stick out. Uh, bring the uh, loops in to hold the agate in place and just play with it on your, until you're happy. And thank you.